We take a 2-0 lead to the Bernabeu for the second leg of the quarterfinals of the Champions League against Real Madrid. Surely it's too early to believe that we can win this, right? Roll that intro. Hello and welcome to episode 125 of the Road to Glory Save here on Football Magic 22. My name's Russ and today we have two games for you. The first one is the second leg against Real Madrid in the Champions League. And then we have Manchester City in the Premier League. Since you guys were last with us, uh, we've only played three games. Beat Bournemouth 2-0, beat Real Madrid 2-0 at our ground, which sets us up for the, uh, the second leg. And then we beat Chelsea 2-1 in the Premier League. If we have a look at the Premier League, we're currently in third... Uh, we are eight points clear of Arsenal, who are in fourth, and six points behind Man City. So if we can beat Man City, we should turn the goal difference around. Uh, we'll be on 34 if we beat them 1-0, they'll be on 33. But more importantly, we'll be three points behind them. I don't think we're going to be catching Liverpool. Liverpool have got seven games left. Uh, so it's like 21 points. They could reach 100. Uh, we can't even achieve that. It's going to be a struggle to catch them. So I think, think Liverpool's going to win the league. It's all about who finishes third and second now between uh, us and Manchester City. So let's just jump straight in to the Real Madrid game then. We are going with... Let's reload this up. Right, we're going with Cajon in goal, a back four, Fajardo, Conte, Schmid and Carlos Eduardo. Butterini's going to be at the base midfield with Di Giovanni and Accio's in front of him. Vera playing out on the left, Hope on the right and Andrade up front. Before we do that, we will have a look at the Real Madrid game. Uh, the 2-0 the one. So, Josh Hope scored in the 27th minute. Real Madrid then had a player sent off in the 39th minute. And Vera settled it in the, uh, in the 72nd minute. Um, I, we can't really... I was going to look at the match stats that, but there's, there's not really much point. This is the focus now. Can we beat Real Madrid at their ground and move into the semi-finals? I've had to make a substitution quite early in the game. Um... Carlos Eduardo picked up a knock and he was down in the red fourth um, condition. So Nogbu's come on for him and gone out on the left. Fajradu has come on and gone on to the right-hand side of uh, defence. There's been no highlights so far and I want it to stay that way if I'm totally honest. If there's no highlights, there's going to be no chance of Real Madrid scoring. But if we have a look at the match stats anyway, we've had four shots, one of those on target. Real Madrid have just had the two shots and not registered one, uh, one, one shot on target yet. So well, there we go. There's their first shot on target. Half an hour gone. Hopefully it stays like this. Two minutes of time added on at the end of this first half. There hasn't been a highlight. It's been a very quiet game. There goes the halftime whistle. Nil-nil. More of this, please, Dulwich. This is what we want. First highlight of this match is in the 52nd minute. It's Real Madrid with a goal kick. Playing it into their defence. We just allowed him to walk into our half, really. Pushing them out onto their left. Switching the play over to the right. None of our players are picking up any of the men at the moment. It's been worked right to the edge of the box and into the box. And it's a an good interception from, our, from Schmidt. Conte plays it back to our goalkeeper, who's just launched it forward to nobody. Real Madrid recycle this ball and come at us once again. Can we do what we did so well in that first attempt? We haven't so far. Their shot is poor and it's easy for Cajon to, to scoop up. The highlight does end there. We just need to be a little bit more alert when Real Madrid is on the attack at the moment. Um, maybe we need to drop the mentality. We've got a throw in here though. Nogbu into Di Giovanni. Back to Nogbu. He's hit the Real Madrid defenders. Just bounced back. He's uh, been picked up by Conti. He's just charging forward at the moment. Plays it into Nogbu. I think the pass would have been better to go right. Conti's got it back. He turns it round into Di Giovanni. Over to Butterini. We've got some men over on the right if we can find him. We found Akyaz. And Akyaz, oh, I thought he found the back of the net. It's a lovely save from the goalkeeper. We have a corner. In it comes from Di Giovanni. And it's not a Dulwich head. It's been cleared by Real Madrid. Absolutely fantastic opportunity for Akyaz to score up there. Uh, settle the game. Well, settle the tie, really. Real Madrid have got the ball in their defence. Playing it out onto their right-hand side. Now they come up through the centre. Well, they've actually gone backwards at the moment. Josh Hope is charging this ball down. He's coming quite deep to try and collect this. He's forced it back to the goalkeeper. Josh Hope is out of uh, position, so we've got no men watching that player. He's managed to get back into position now, though, as Real Madrid go back into their defence. If we can keep them there at the moment, I'll be quite happy. 
No, they've turned it round. They've turned it onto that right-hand side. Hopefully Fajaradu can keep him out there. He hasn't. He's retreated off a little bit. And Nobu... Has he given away a penalty here? I don't think he has. I think he's on the edge of the box. VAR is going to be checking this one. What is the referee playing at? What is Nogbu playing at as well? Oh, Kajon needs to have nerves of steel here. Can he save the penalty? And he doesn't. Real Madrid go 1-0 up into this game. 2-1 uh, in two, two one on aggregate now. We've got 33 minutes left of this game. 32 minutes left of this game. Fingers crossed we can just hang on or, or find an equaliser in this game. Akio has put a challenge in, giving away a free kick right on the right on the edge of the, the playing field. In comes that free kick. And it's, uh, it's a good save from Cajon, I think. No, he's hit the post. In goes the ball again. We've managed to get it clear and Akio is chasing this one down. He's got one man in front of him. Oh, that's got to be a red, hasn't it, ref? Going to be making a couple of substitutions. Has Real Madrid have a... I think it's a throw in here. Well, no, nothing's come of it. So the substitutions we are making are Pieson's coming on at the base midfield for Butterini. And Accios has come off and Eduardo's come on for him. We've got quarter of an hour left. Conti looks like he's been picked up for a foul here. I thought he was going to get a yellow card. It's quite far out for Real Madrid, but it's still quite dangerous though. In comes the free kick. And is it... It's a save from Cajon. Absolute wonderful save there. Real Madrid have a corner though. If we can get this ball clear. We don't. It's gone through absolutely everybody. Josh Hope is picking up this ball. The highlight does it. And I was just hoping he booted that up the pitch. We've got three minutes left of normal time. Plus whatever the referee is going to add on. We haven't been at the races today. We haven't been that great going forward. Defence has been a little bit iffy but... We're keeping it at 1-0. We've got four minutes of time added on as well. Hopefully it's just going to be four minutes of, of no, no highlights. Nothing to note. That's what we need in this game. Um, our best player has been Fajaradu. And Josh Hope picks up an injury. Uh, I think our best bet is to bring... Uh, stick Vera up there. That's all we can do really. Just leave it like that. It's got one minute, uh, two minutes, 20 seconds left of this game. Into the last minute of that now. Just waiting for that whistle to go. Is it going to go? It does go. Yes, we lose to Real Madrid on the night, but we are into the semi-finals of the Champions League. Let's go and find out who we've got. Well, luckily, Carlos Eduardo is only going to be out for three days, and Josh Hope is going to be only be out for two days with those injuries. Uh, we get 9.6 million for getting to the semi-finals. That's a lot of money. It's going to help us out massively. And we are going to be playing Porto, who we knocked out in the quarterfinals of the Europa League last season. So we know we can beat them. I think we're going to be in the final this year. Um, is this going to be the end of the save, though? If we win it? I mean, the, the, the mission statement was to win the Champions League with Dulwich. So if we win it before winning the Premier League, uh, do we stay on for another season and try and win the Premier League? So here we go then with the Man City game. We are going with Cajon in goal, a back four of Dijkstra, Landers, Schmidt and Carlos Eduardo. Butterini at the base midfield, Di Giovanni and Accios in front of him. Perez returning to the left, Hope on the right and Andrade up front. Andrade is on a goal drive at the moment so hopefully here at Man City, against Man City, we, we can get him that goal. We can end that goal drought and we can also close the gap on Man City because that's, that's the main thing really. Closing that gap now in the Premier League against those and uh, toppling them. Man City with a corner for the first highlight of this match. Gets whipped in. It's been bobbling around in that box and bundled into the back of the net. Man City do take the lead here. It's 22 minutes on the clock as well. They're keeping up this title chase with Liverpool at the moment. Uh, Liverpool are what? Eight points clear of them at the moment. 10 points going by this. Man City winning would still be 8 points. We've got a corner here in the 42nd minute. Perez is going to put this one in. And Schmid is equalised. Come on, boys. Sixth goal of the season for Schmid. We're back into this match. We're back into hunting for second spot. Come on, the Hamlet. 
Can we get a winner? Can we get a second and third in this match? Approaching half time, that goal has come against the runner play, really, to get us back into that. Man City have been all over us. Um, possession is, is even at the moment, but the shots are just in their favour. Yes, every shot we've had has been on target, but Man City are just swarming us. Uh, into the well, into the last minute of a well, the only minute of time added on here. As we go into half time at one one. Doing a little bit of positional shuffling at half time. Josh Hope has gone up front. Andrade's gone on to the right hand side of the pitch. I don't usually play Hope up front. He is better coming in, cutting in off that right hand side, getting those goals and creating opportunities from there. I'm kind of hoping by pushing Andrade back and cutting in, he can he can use his abilities to try and score from outside the box. Um, and let Josh Hope just be a menace in the box of the, like he like he can be. We got a free kick here. Josh uh, Schmidt's standing over it. Plays it into Butterini. Back to Schmid. We're just playing it in, into a uh, to block pass at the moment. Akiyas has got the ball. Plays it into Di Giovanni. He's released Akiyas. Akiyas has tried to chip the goalkeeper. He's put it wide. Would have been easier just to blast it at the goalkeeper to see if he'd uh, make a mistake, spill it in front of him again. Uh, he, he just went for the technical thing. He just didn't work out for him then. Double substitution just after the hour mark. Josh Hope has come off and Vera's come on from up front. And Kaiser's come on for Butterini at the base of midfield. We've got about 25 minutes left of this match. It looks like it's going to be sticking to a draw at the moment. Man City have had a couple of shots. None of those have been on target. We've had the two shots as well. Neither of those have been on target. Um, this favours Liverpool really, this draw. It doesn't really help us. doesn't help Man City. I guess it favours Arsenal as well as they're trying to catch up to us. So six points behind us um, if it stays like this. Just want one more goal really. Man City have got the ball just before the halfway line. Playing it round, got loads of space as our players seem to be congregating together at the moment. They've managed to work it into Adiemi. We, I thought we kept him at bay. We haven't. They've pushed it out to the left hand side. They're working it back into the centre. In goes the cross, and it's a head that has found the back of the net. I thought one of our players got it. They're fighting and arguing in the uh, the six yard box there. Man City take the lead, two one to Man City. Final substitution of the game. A tired Akiyaz comes off and Valdson comes on for him. Got 10 minutes left. 10 minutes to find an equaliser. Or just, to be honest, just keep it as this, really. Man City have got a corner. And it comes in. And it's in the back of the net. 3-1 to Manchester City now. Uh, just Let's just get out to the end of this match, really, now. And uh, just move on to Champions League. Because I think that's our... Uh, that's the only thing we can really hunt down at the moment now. Man City being nine points clear of us. Liverpool have already won the league, I'm going to say that now. They've got the game in hand on Man City, which will put them 11 points clear of them. Got three or three and a half minutes, two and a half minutes, sorry, left of this match. It's just been not how we usually play. Four minutes of time added on. Been outclassed in this match. We held strong against Real Madrid. We just couldn't hold strong in this one. We've got a throw in there with Dijkstra. Plays it into Landers. Back to Dijkstra. He's trying to play it to Di Giovanni. It was a poor pass. There's Man City come at us again on that right hand side. They've gone back into their defence. Can one of our men just stick a foot in, get the ball, quit a nice little bobble for us? Doesn't look like it's going to be happening. Man City just seem to be what we turn around, turn around any of our players and just beating them. Out to the right hand side, out to the corner flag. Managed. Oh, I thought they were going to put a cross in. They haven't. Di Giovanni's got an interception onto this ball. Plays it out to absolutely nobody. As Man City come again, he's offside. He is offside, ref. Come on. Anyone up from the other side of the pitch could have seen that that was offside. It's going to VAR. It's going to be ruled off. There we go. See? Still 3-1. Just, I just want the whistle now, ref. Kajon plays it into Kaiser. Kaiser over to Schmid. Into Carlos Eduardo. 
Andrade's got this ball. Andrade's been poor in both games. Plays it into Valdson. Vera. Vera chips it for trying to find Perez, and he does. Perez, wow, oh, why has he gone back there? It's a, a, a dreadful pass. There's another dreadful pass from Man City there. They're just trying to wind the clock down, I think. We've got to throw him. Carlos Eduardo throws it in to Andrade. The ref's going to blow his whistle now, isn't he? Plays it into Valdson. Andrade. And we've lost the ball. Man City clear it. The whistle does go. 3-1 to Man City. I th we're definitely out of the title race now. Um, I don't like what I saw from this team because that wasn't... That wasn't Dulwich. That's not how we play. I'm not even going to bother looking at the table. We're five points clear of Arsenal, who are in fourth. Um, quick look at the table, then. Yeah, I, th I think we're going to finish in the Champions League positions regardless, but I just don't want Arsenal to finish above us. Looking at the schedule, um, I think we'll come back for both the Porto games. I think that'll be the next episode. And if we're going to be in the Champions League final, we can then play Portsmouth and whoever we're going to play in the final in that episode there. So, on to Porto, and on to Porto and knocking them out. So, we've conquered Juve, we've conquered Real Madrid, we've conquered Bayern Munich, we've now got Porto in the next stage. So, if you guys have enjoyed that, big thumbs up on the video for me, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with this journey, and as always, thank you very much for watching.